European countries by the exact shade of red in their flag. I'm just really curious where exactly they got this data from. Is there a law describing the exact tone and intensity of each one of their colors? You think they have to describe the white color in flags too? So as you can see, the reds are all over the place. Some of them are much darker, much more dull, I'd say. Others are much more saturated, like Croatia, Portugal, Albania. Look how faded this one looks in France. Looks kind of boring. Same with Italy. This is kind of a weird red to use. I like the dark red that's Spain's got going on. Of course, there's Latvia, which I feel like, how would you even describe this? It's more towards the gray scale, maybe? Another thing to note is just look how many European flags have red in it. There's like seven places that don't have red. You guys should really like mix it up. Don't be afraid to be different. So why don't we look into a European flag that doesn't have red in it? The meaning of the Greek flag. The nine stripes for the nine syllables for whatever the hell that is, which means freedom or death. Wait, is this flag weirdly cropped or what's going on with this weird stripe? Okay, yeah, you seriously threw me me off. You can't tell me the meaning of the Greek flag without having an exact Greek flag on the diagram. So the Swiss cross, or the equal armed cross, symbolizes the Greek Orthodox Church, which has had a major role in the fight for independence against the Ottomans. Yep, that's like their number one enemy. The light blue represents loyalty, truth, and justice, and also the blue color of the Greek sea. And finally, the white is peace and honesty, as well as the waves. Okay. After seeing all the red flags in Europe, I just gotta give you credit. Thank you for not using the red. I love how the Greeks literally Literally hate the Ottomans so much, it's behind their flag's meaning. That's a whole other level of dislike when a symbol that represents the country on a flag refers to how much they do not like you. So some artificial intelligence was given the description of every flag, and without seeing the official flag itself, the AI came up with what they thought it was going to look like. Let's start with Poland, which they kind of got right. I mean, they were only a color off, but this is going to be the easiest one, really. There's Croatia, which apparently the AI thinks Austria should annex, Slovenia, which is obviously still communist. Hey, I mean, Russia's not bad. If you just turn your head to the side, that's perfect, buddy. Then there's Ukraine, which is just sun. I mean, yeah, it is kind of just the sun, kind of. Hey, low-key, I'm kind of liking this Slovakian flag. This light blue and dark blue kind of pops. Serbia just straight up looks like a shit post, but you know what? I'm not surprised. If there's any country that would have that, it would be this place. Montenegro's flag doesn't look too bad, although it looks like a city state should have this. It also looks horrifying. Crimea just has this weird, uh, bark code, basically. Then there's Belarus, which just looks like they love playing Smash Bros. Of course, the AI didn't stop there. We also have USA state flags, which as long as they don't retain those boring dark blue designs that most US state flags have, I'll be happy. Not gonna lie, this Alabama one is scarily close. That looks great. I think it kind of looks better than the real one. Alright, Alaska looks like they're a biker gang. You can see people having tattoos of this on their arm. I don't know what's going on in Arizona or Arkansas. Then there's California. What is that? This this is not a bear, or at least I don't think that's a bear. It's not a bad, like, design for a flag, I guess. They literally nailed Colorado. How are they able to nail some states? I'm guessing some places have better descriptions for AIs than others. Florida just has stars question mark and they just randomly typed some words down here george is looking excellent wow look at maryland all right so the ai clearly got better in some areas and then worst for others honestly kentucky you probably should just go with this i think it's better than what you have now nailed kansas iowa has two different versions of their flag how does that happen how does the ai think oh yeah they have two flags within one flag there you go now you finally got ukraine you just put it in two little circles and said it was indiana <laughs> beautiful i love you too idaho then there's there's Hawaii. At least you don't have the British watermark. Massachusetts, which is looking awfully Russian. Mississippi's not bad. This is a weird design, but I kind of dig it. Missouri is now Dutch. Nebraska went with the Japanese style, but instead of the dot, you got the heart. And I'm assuming they probably just heart that corn, right? This is okay. This is giving me, like, Chicago vibes with the stars. DC vibes, too. What, what the hell? New Jersey? What? Am I... I have a lot of questions, but I'm just gonna move on. Okay, so you're giving the same design to a lot of these people. Pennsylvania and Oregon have a strong desire to join the European Union. What the hell? Why is... Do I... I've got so many questions right now, but I don't think I have the time to do this. North Dakota with just the black dot. North Carolina with this crackhead. All oh, that crackhead energy. Oh my gosh, you butcher the New Mexico flag, which is one of my favorite flags. Again, South Dakota, they just gave up. Texas with the checkered triangle. Literally six tons of gold in Utah. Was that really what the AI put there, or did you put that there? Are they trying to, like, let us onto, like, a secret? Maybe the government doesn't want us to know. There's somewhere buried in there six tons of gold. Virginia is just a divide between Warsaw, Stockholm, and 
Riga. Washington is Canada. Can confirm. Made in Wisconsin. Liking the Wyoming flag. I mean, Wyoming doesn't even exist, first of all. But doing the orange and black, like, that's a rare flag design. I want some of that. It should really tell us that some of these state flags, and just flags in general, need to update their descriptions. Finally, let's look at the AI-generated European Union flags. I'm gonna just assume we won't see those US state cameos. France is basically just the EU. Okay, can confirm. Spain got a whole lot going on, but that's a really hard flag to design. I wouldn't even be able to think of how to do Spain's flag if I had to do it from memory. Not bad. Close. This feels like if Denmark colonized Ireland, this would be their flag. Bulgaria got some, like, Georgia things going on, but okay. And there's Belgium, which is just a red square. It's fine. Belgium's not gonna exist in 10 years, so I think the AI didn't want to put any work into it. Slovenia. My house in Molkenbeek is like a temple of Slovenians. This looks like a really bad, like, US town, like, updated their flag to just be even worse. Estonia is close, except the reverse. Ireland colonized it. Malta, not bad. Latvia with just the straight line. Now, is this, like, um, gray on the outside, or are we supposed to assume that the AI came up with this aspect ratio, which is, like, 30 by 2? Finland's kind of cool. I'm kind of digging this. Austria, not bad. Bodies of lame. Bodies of lame. This looks horrifying, Slovakia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got the gist. Of course, when I think of Lithuania, I think of a communist Morocco, so that works. Germany. I've never seen anyone represent this country better. This is weird, but okay, Portugal. Poland just looking like an outlet. Czech Republic taking the L's. Oh man, it's so close. What, what's up with this weird design you put there? It's so cheesy. This is cool. If they change the colors, this would work really well. How much of the coat of arms is really confusing these AIs? Greece is now just Colorado, so I'm glad it's like happening to both places. At least you got the coat of arms right with Hungary. Sweden is good. They're an angel. This might be the most beautiful of all. They know that Italy is supposed to represent pizza. That's what this triangle is there for. Luxembourg. Not bad. You definitely look like you're needing attention over there. And this type of flag is definitely going to give that to you. I think the AI is just trolling us at this point. It knows exactly what all these flags are like. They're just trying to throw us off their trail. Trying not to let on that they're sentient now. We've got a new flag coming the next few decades. The flag of the Netherlands. If they don't continue to conquer the sea. The ocean is slowly going to rise above the halfway mark. The blue, which of course represents the sea in the Dutch flag. Just gonna keep on going higher and higher. So this is the go-to picture for a Wikipedia article if that place doesn't have a flag, or at least we don't know their flag. Not too bad. I mean, most flags are this, like, tri-color, and then you put a Swiss cross over it because it's neutral. Makes sense to me. The flag of Chexis. And I love how this person probably has no idea. I mean, to be honest, if you were a designer and you wanted to make a sticker that had the Texas borders with the Texas flag, how do you do it? Because you got this weirdo star over here here that is gonna get cut off because Texas is not big enough. I guess looking it up, someone has done it. I don't really like this design. It looks kind of weird. Oh wait, you just do it like this. I didn't think about that. Why did I not think about that? That is literally perfect. I'm trying to make excuses for this guy, and now I'm just realizing, wow, no, he's... He's just dumb. I don't know why they designed it like that. Well, I mean, maybe the guy is from the Czech Republic and he moved to Texas. I don't know. A possible design for Pan-Africa. This is actually really cool. I, I like this a lot. I mean, I don't know if this should be the official flag of Pan-Africa. Maybe this should be like a flag of an organization, a flag of a pro-Pan-Africa movement. Maybe not the official official one, though, you know? I don't know. So this European was somewhere in his homeland and he visited an American-inspired restaurant and they had this random Tennessee flag on the wall. He was wondering what flag this was specifically. This just makes me think like how many places around the world just have like random US state flags that they hold up for American themes. Because I know that we do that here as well. The random first example that pops in my head right now is the Matterhorn ride at Disneyland. We have these Swiss flags and these Swiss Canton flags. But I guarantee you there's like not even a single person in this line that has any idea of that. They probably think they're just made up. I thought they were made up when I was a kid. You know I'm not even 100% sure those are Canton flags. I'm just trusting of all places Disney probably wouldn't do something inaccurate like that. They got that intention to detail. Here's a fun game. Try to screenshot Poland. Be very careful though. You might end up just getting Greenland. Ugh. Nope. I don't think so. This is way too difficult. Wow, I did get a perfect non-Poland though. This doesn't look too bad actually. Wait, is it even possible to screen- Is this a game where they mess with us? You can't even do it. Oh, you can't- Oh, you can't do that. There were some funny designs coming out of this though. Someone realized this looks like a man with a large nose laughing at you. It's like the profile view. This poor guy tried 49 times until he realized, wait, it's- 
That's not possible, bro. That hurts. Flag of the EU, but it represents mentally unstable people. Of course, at the top, we have Twitter, Facebook, and Reddit. Doesn't get any worse than that. Then Tumblr and TikTok, YouTube and Discord, Snapchat and Roblox, Twitch, Newgrounds, and I actually don't know that bottom one. That's not good. Is that is that bad? I don't know that. That's Deviant Art. How does Deviant Art have such a crappy design? Art is literally in your name. This doesn't represent Deviant Art to me at all. Someone found this beautiful design of different groups coming together. Together we will rise. We have these first four, which I think we all can kind of figure out, and this last design reserved for France. They're a nice little red, white, and blue. Never stop, France. Keep going. Someone found this leather jacket in a thrift store, and there is absolutely no doubt in my mind I would buy this thing. We got the USA, what appears to be Mexico, Canada, South Korea, Germany, the Netherlands. I can't, I just wish I could see what was on the back. You know they gotta have more stuff back there. Please, please tell me they sold more than one. I feel like I'm gonna be like Mr. Krabs finding the guy with the number one hat. I'll dig up a grave if I have to. I don't care. I want this. The flag of Pepe. If Pepe was like a fidget spinner. This is actually causing some sort of weird hypnosis happening. I don't think I can look at this anymore. Something like this would literally bother me for weeks if my neighbors randomly started flying a flag like this. Nobody knows what this is. Not the entire internet. We cannot figure it out. It looks like just a beach towel flying in the wind. The only thing I can think of is that maybe it's some sort of customized design. Maybe some kid randomly like designed this and then they decided to fly it outside their house. Maybe? But would a kid come up with something this basic? you think there'd be like an icon on or something. It, it feels like it'd be good with something. Like a white circle here off center. I do think we should be bringing back the whole idea of like families having their own icons or flags in this instance. I'm gonna force all my kids to fly this flag outside their house or else they're dead to me. Ah uh, yes, the flag of Argentina. Except it's not creepy. Much more happy sun instead of that weird one they got now. I mean really, can we just take a second here? Uh, why would that country ever think a design like this would look good? Come on guys, like get it together Argentina. This was outside of a shop in Dublin, we have Pakistan, Arabic, Turkish, and randomly this Mediterranean flag. I've never seen that flag in my life. We have like the EU flag combined with some sort of wavy Greek flag. I'll be honest, the flag that I see most often represent the Mediterranean are Greek flags. Every time I go to like a Mediterranean restaurant, or not every time, but occasionally I will see a Greek flag. I thought that's like the standard to use here, but I can see why that's also kind of not good. At least you got Bangladeshi and Chinese right though. What even is this? Is this like a food shop? This looks like they're talking about languages, so they speak all Mediterranean languages? I mean, there's a lot of different languages spoken on the Mediterranean. I get there's also a lot of languages spoken in India too, but dang. Here's a unique flag. Flag of my girlfriend breaking up with me. Absolutely beautiful. Clearly she took you out to a restaurant or she did it over dinner. So now you're just playing with your food and making this flag. I can really see the, uh, the depression already coming out, sir. That's great. Although it could be worse. You could be colonized by the British. One of my favorite flags ever is this five colored flag that China used between 1912 and 1928. This is the original Republic of China. And I actually didn't even know this, but it's supposed to represent one nation and five major ethnic groups in China. The Han, the Manchus, the Mongols, the Hui, Hu, and Tibetans. Oh, so there is specification on exactly the tone of color. I was wondering about that in the very beginning there. Look at this too, like the different designs they were able to use was awesome. They had this Air Force Randell as well, the army symbol, the national flag. Like all these variations are cool. Uh, I mean, this could be better, but you know. Oh, this is one of the proposed national flags of the People's Republic of China back in 1914. So you would have kept that. Oh, this is ugly though. Inner Manchuria used something like this. So I'm guessing Manchuria really represents the yellow part. Well, anyways, now that we know the meaning behind this flag, someone decided to make a proportionately accurate version of this design. If it was supposed to mean five races under one union, there was one group that severely outnumbered the rest. And I guess that would be the Han. I can confirm though, the blue represented the Mongols, so they did use like flags with a little bit more blue. Although, they also had like a French, Russian flag too. I don't know. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of Han, the world's largest ethnic group, making up 18% of the global population population. Was that flag even proportionate then? I feel like there needs to be even more red to be honest. Flag of Mexico, but it's low poly art. Ayo this, but like Unironically, I kind of like this. I would love to see more low poly art for some of the more complicated flags like Spain and Portugal. I don't really know how you would do it for others. You can't always do it. What would the low poly art of like the Saudi Arabian flag with all that writing look like? And big thank you to my patrons. Rye the Pie. This is Gabe. Why am I doing this? I love Mark. Drew has a small pee pee, but I give him money anyways. Dalton D. Drew's Argentinian grandpa. Bring back Poland Arian Ball. Arian After Hours. Barnsky W. Ivan Lima. Jesse C. Luxembourg Lover. Majestic Unicorn. Max Cooper. Nick Blorf. Mine Brothers 999 and Stormtrooper 501. Thank you.